Well, how many wings can two girls eat? <laughs> I stopped counting. <laughs> Me too. Me too. But you're the one now that has to teach dance, so. You're right. But I am so proud of you. Like, it's been over a decade, and out of the two of us that study dance, at least one of us successfully Thank pursued you. it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks for the lift here. You got a nice ride here. I love the car. Uh, active pickup truck. You're right, you're right. But it's not intimidating. I feel like I could feel comfortable driving Just in it. So. Anytime, Tiffany, anytime, all yours. Thank you so bye. much. Well, my husband's here, so I better get going. Okay. Uh, all and right, we'll him. do it again soon. Okay, okay. sounds Take good. Care. Bye. bye bye. Hey, babe, I'm glad hey, you're here. There you go. Mind if I grab a lift? <laughs> hey, Sandy. Well, good to see you. I just dropped off Tiffany. Um, yeah, sure. I'm going back to your place, or what, what do you need? Well, Melissa, I was actually hoping you could kind of take me somewhere and show me a nice romantic spot for me and the wife for a date night this weekend. All right, date night. Okay, um, sure. Happy to help. Uh, what are you thinking? Where, what spot were you looking for? Something romantic, something out and away from everyone else. Just the two of us. Is that what you guys normally do? A little getaway once in a while? That's what we like to do, just spend some time together. Just the two of us. You guys been together a long time. How long have you been married for? Over a decade now. Nice! Okay, date night it is. Okay. So obviously, you know, you're a fan favorite with everybody, but who was your mentor? Who was your inspiration when you started in the game of football? Well, there's two, two ways I can go with that. The one that I looked up to the most as a kid was Doug Flutie out in BC for the BC Lions. I was a huge fan and I was fortunate enough to go to games as a little kid and watch him play and do all the things he did when he first right, came up to the right, Canadian Football yeah. League. As a mentor, it was when I first came to the Tire Cats, I had Rob Hitchcock. Oh. As the guy, he was st the starting job in front of me and he right. really did a lot of mentoring with me and teaching me. I think it's such a great little love story. So she was a cheerleader for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. What was that moment where you're like, yeah, yeah she your, could be my wife. It's your typical uh, sports love story, I suppose, with a uh, cheerleader and football player. And then when I got to know her and just knew how hard of a worker she was, how committed she was to you know, so many things, proved true to me that that's someone that I wanted to spend my life with. What would you say the game of football could offer a young player? It just builds character in a, in a person, uh, learning when to lead, when to step back. All the characteristics in life that, and life lessons that you need, you can rely on them throughout your life. Whether, whether you end up being in football or in firefighting or owning a dance studio, it just all comes together. That, that's what sport brings together. Speaking of uh, dance, because your wife a cheerleader now has her own dance studio. Are you a good dancer? Uh, am I a good dancer? No. <laughs> but do I? She still married you. But do I like to dance? And am I willing to dance? Yes. Okay. So I'm not good. Yeah. But I always do it. And I, in fact, I'm a member of the Dancing Dads dance routine and the recital every year for the kids' so dance recital. Once a year, you pull out and dust off your dancing shoes. I pull out the old moves once a year and embarrass myself, but I have a great time doing it. <laughs> you want to go to the conservation area? Uh, this, okay. This road here? This road here? Okay. Let's try this road here. So do you think you can find me a spot out here? Okay, we need a romantic spot. So this is what you guys do on the weekend? We just like to hang out together and spend time and chat. Sometimes just lay under the stars and enjoy time together, the quality time. Yeah, it looks like you're into nature because there's like a lot of nature around here. Yeah, there is a lot of nature <laughs> around here. It's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. All right, this is kind of cool. Let's see, there's like a lot of options here. It's a good thing about this truck. You can handle all kinds of roads. I can maneuver this truck very easily, so I'm cool with driving the city or off-road. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's pretty smooth, right? Absolutely. Smooth ride? Oh, this is so romantic. Okay, like, but I'm dropping you off here by yourself? Well, now that you've helped me find the spot, I was kind of hoping you were gonna let me borrow the truck. You wanna borrow the truck? Okay, sure, I have no problem with that. Well, okay, you got the spot, but we're gonna take you back home? Yeah, I'm gonna set it all up nicely. Set it all up, all right, okay. So you, you like trucks? I do, I love them. What do, you, what do you like about them? So many things you can use them for. 
okay. universal. You can haul stuff in them, you can fit stuff in them, you can take stuff, you can help people. And yes, put a mattress in the back. A what? A mattress. You never put a mattress in the back and just lay it outside? No. Okay, now I know where you're going with this date. Okay, this, this, I gotta see. <laughs> nice. Let's go figure it out. All right, so you need to borrow my truck. Yes, that's a deal, right? I offer, so I'm, I'm good with that. I heard it comes with free babysitting as well. You want me to babysit while you're on date night? Well, yeah, someone has to watch the kids. That's the mattress. I got the mattress. <laughs> All right. We are ready to go. Okay. So you and your wife do this all the time, huh? This is your all romantic the time. getaway? This is okay. one of our favorite things to do. All right. Done and done. Uh, you need something else to make it a little romantic. Yeah, blanket would be great. Do you have an electric blanket? I do. Okay, go grab it, go grab it. Okay, check out this feature. You got the electric blanket? Electric blanket. Okay, there's a plug back here, 120 volts, 400 watts, it's right there. Check it out. That's amazing. Ah, uh, something a little more romantic. Can I help you out? Absolutely, okay. what do you got? All right, wait, wait there. Okay, check this out. The Nissan Tailgate Audio. By Kicker? <laughs> awesome. Okay, Bluetooth, hook it up here. You're gonna have tunes, all right? Let's lift this up and let's hook it up. This is the coolest thing I've seen. Okay, you go for it. I'm just gonna love it. The Bluetooth speaker, it has a range of up to 100 feet and it's also waterproof. Lights on the bed, they're LED. Okay, get the pillows. All right, my friend, it's gonna be magic night. Have some fun. Awesome, thank you so much for all your help. Okay. This is gonna be awesome. Awesome, okay. Uh, where your kids have to babysit them? Oh, they're in the house. Okay. <laughs> what a great night together. It is so nice, no children. Just to get away. If you want more on Legends and sports giveaways, go to legendsofthegame.ca and let's connect on social at Melissa DeMarco.